Have you ever wondered which game is better, Jiu Jitsu shenanigans or the strongest battlegrounds? Well, I'm gonna be going over that in today's video. We have six categories, ranging from combat to the map to just how fun the game is in general. So let's start with category number one, combat. Okay, so we're in Jiu Jitsu shenanigans right now and we're gonna be testing out the combat. I have not played this game very much as you can see by my kills. I've joined this game once and I'm basically completely new to it. So that's the combat, as you can see. One, two, three. You can also do down slams. Doesn't make the, like a little aura around the ground. I don't know if you can uppercut it. Yep, you can uppercut it. So this game has like less effects than the strongest battlegrounds, and the combat feels a little bit janky, but it's still nice. And bro, I love this destruction. Okay, now let's switch to the strongest battlegrounds. We're just gonna be using strongest hero because it's the base character. Okay, so for the strongest battlegrounds combat, those are the base M ones. It's a lot more like snappy. The animations are like okay, but it feels like reactive, you know. So here's the down slam. Boom. There's like a little aura, some debris. That's pretty cool. Now for the uppercut. Boom. Basically the same as jujitsu shenanigans. <laughs> Basically the same as jujitsu shenanigans. Not gonna pronounce that wrong again. But like, I kind of like the effects. Like it plays a sound effect. There's debris everywhere. So honestly, and it just like moves better. So honestly, I'm gonna give the first point to the strongest battlegrounds for combat. Now we'll move on to our second category, the moves. We're gonna be joining jujitsu shenanigans. We're gonna be joining jujitsu shenanigans. So we're not gonna be basing it on like how cool the moves are and stuff. We're just gonna be basing it on like the animation quality, the balance, I don't even know. So first we have laps blue. Boom. And that destruction is just beautiful. This move's really cool. Now we have reversal red. Dude, look at this destruction. Okay, then we have rapid punches. Oh, this is fast. There's like a little effect around it. Then we have two full kick. Boom. Look at that. These are actually like super, super cool moves. Okay, now we have the strongest battlegrounds moves. We're gonna start with normal punch. Boom. The animation is just smooth. There's a lot of debris. It's pretty nice. Definitely could use some updates though. Now we have consecutive punches. Like, I'd like it if consecutive punches was more like the rapid punches, personally. Then we have shove. Pretty bland animation. Just sends them back, you know. Uppercut. I like those effects. They like go up and roll down, but there's no physics with it. That's the issue. I, who is that? I just left the game and I saw some guy. Hold up, <laughs> replay that. <laughs> who was that? Okay, now for, now for your ultimates. We'll join Jiu Jitsu shenanigans first. Let's get a little crazy. So basically the same as Saitama's ultimate activation. Laps, blue, max. Yo! Okay, I didn't miss that, ignore that. But it's the thing. Bro! Things like a gunshot, hollow purple. Don't tell me I missed that. Okay, I didn't miss that. Infinite Void. Domain expansion? Yo! Yo! Dude! This thing is insane! Uh, Saitama's ultimate's a lot different than your normal ultimate, so we'll be using Garu's after this. Because it can only use one move. And all the animations are insane, like just look at this. This thing is insane. I love this animation so much. Like, look at that. Like, really good animation. With like, 
What did I just say? Now we'll be testing out Gyro's, which is a normal ultimate, which doesn't have insane animations. I won't say he has a better startup, because basically just judging on Saitama and Gojo alone. And honestly, Jujutsu shenanigans startup is better. Anyways, Crushed Rock. This animation never gets old. You can definitely kill people a lot faster with this ultimate. Final Hunt, this move is insane. Like, the brutality on this is insane. Like, look at these debris. But, like, the floor doesn't break. There's not much damage, you know? Okay, ignore how I missed that. But, like, look at that. It definitely lasts a lot longer than the Jujutsu shenanigans. Okay, so ultimates is really hard, but I'm gonna have to say that it's a tie between strongest battling runs and jujitsu shenanigans. Jujitsu. Now, for the next thing, destruction. Um, do I really have to? Do I? We're just gonna speed run this. Do I really have to explain which destruction physics are better? Do I really have to explain? You guys already know who's better. Okay, now for the map. Okay, so the map here is like more of like a city map, but it's not like an arena, you know? There's no center part where you guys can like, well, I guess there is, but like, there's no like center arena where you like brawl and have like a duel. I really, really like this map though. Like it's such a good map, but it just, it works for destruction though. Like, look at this. That's just so satisfying to do. So yeah, I really, and there's even a metro station. This maps are really, really good. But if we go into Strongest Battlegrounds, it's more like an arena type fighting. And also there's like lots of areas for you to walk on, though, like trees, which I don't know if you can do in Jiu-Jitsu shenanigans. Yeah, see, like there's this whole arena where you can just fight people in. And also the map has interactable objects. Like you see this trash can, boom. So Strongest Battlegrounds, probably mm, it has better looks but like I, i'm gonna say that this round is a tie now for the final which one is more fun so we have this the fun in this game is insane like look at that you could just destroy everything but there is definitely a lack of characters which i won't blame them i won't blame them it's a new game there's definitely a l pretty big lack of characters. I won't lie. But like, just the destruction and like how much of the map you can like explore, like that metro station and everything. And just the moves in general. And the awakenings are just, they're kind of insane. Like look, there's legitimately a gas station right here. Is that in Strong Spellgrounds? Probably not. And let me guess, you can probably destroy everything inside of it. Boom! Okay, that's actually fun to do. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so Strongest Battlegrounds definitely comes to an advantage with characters. You know? The moves are pretty fun. Although they do get bland over time. You know? But that kind of gets made up for by the insane animations. Like, just look at this. Just look, look at this. I pop my ult. Like, does Jujutsu shenanigans have this? No, because they don't have, like, nine characters. Look at this. Like, this is crazy. This is just fun to do, like, against your friends and everything. And then just look at this move. Boom, 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 boom. So Strongest Battlegrounds definitely has a lot more characters. And look at that tree. <laughs> look at this like shockwave from that. Strongest Battlegrounds is definitely really, really fun as well. Okay, now we have to choose. So this is gonna be really, really hard. But honestly, I think it's a tie, which means if we look at the list, then 
we see if we tally it up, the winner is Jujitsu Shenanigan. So honestly, if you're a new player, play Strongest Battle Grounds. Honestly, if you're you're kind of tired of Strongest Battle Grounds, you played it too much, play Jujitsu Shenanigans. Both are insanely good games, and goodbye.